Hey everybody, Ari in the Air here. Welcome back. Today, I've got some ideas for you as to how you can improve your launching procedure that will help you have more confidence and better performance on launch so that you can focus on the flight ahead. So, subscribe to my channel and let's get to it. So, I've got three things for you to think about today. The first one is when you get to launch, you should find a place that is away from launch and out of the wind that you can lay your glider out, you can connect it, you can set up your harness, you can set up your instrumentation, you can get into your harness, you can make sure it's all connected, make sure everything is good, make sure you have no line knots, no debris in your lines, you can take your time, you can have your own space, once you have everything set up and you're in your harness, you can rosette your glider really nicely and you can walk out onto launch with a glider that you know the lines are clean, the harness is connected, your instrumentation is ready to go, you're essentially ready to launch. There's nothing that will shake your confidence on launch more than trying to struggle to control your glider in the wind, struggle to connect it and make sure that the lines are clean and the risers are twisted properly. All these things can really rattle you before launch. So it's better just to go find a space on your own, out of the way, that you can get everything set up perfectly so that when you come on to launch, you're confident that your kit is prepared and you're ready to go, okay? The second thing is when you're on launch, it's probably important to acknowledge your mental factors. Life and paragliding is 95 or more percent mental. And so when you get on launch, it's best to acknowledge your mental factors. Whether that is a big crowd of onlookers, maybe it's a long line of talented, experienced pilots. Maybe it's fear and rustiness in your own flying, you're in a rush or you have expectations of the flight, or even stress and emotions that are carrying over. All of these things can affect the way that you feel and perform on launch. So it's best to take a second to acknowledge what is going on inside of your head and that way you can deal with it before you try to launch. The way I recommend dealing with it is, the first thing is when you get on launch to have a moment of stillness. A moment of stillness in the fact that you connect with your breath, like find your breath and take 10 deep breaths, making sure that you are present right there, that you can notice whether your heart is racing or your breath is very shallow, because those kind of things really will affect your performance. I know it sounds strange, but the reality is that if you're connected to your breath and your heart rate is calm, the chance that you will perform better is very, very good. So find your breath, find a moment of stillness, and acknowledge what you're about to do, right? It's aviation, we try to take it seriously when we're on launch. After you've found yourself there on launch, it's good to do a pre-flight check. I like to say it out loud. I do leg strap, leg strap, chest strap, chest strap, chin strap, carabiner, carabiner, speed bar, speed bar. That's just my basic one. If I'm flying cross country, I like to check my instrumentation and hear my vario beeping before I take off and make sure that my flight computer is recording and that my spot is turned on and tracking. Um, but those things also just give you confidence that, okay, yes, I am ready and I am safely connected to my glider. We all have heard the horror stories of people dying by not having their legs strapped in under their pod or what have you, so let's avoid that being in the back of our minds by having a solid pre-flight check. And the last thing I'll say about your headspace on launch is take your time. Be patient, take the right cycle. If there's a line of pilots waiting to launch behind you, they might want you to hurry up and get off of launch, but that's none of your concern. 
Get that out of your head. Be present with your own process. They might want you to hurry up, but they would all rather you take your time and be safe than rush and have an accident. Okay, the third and final thing that I'll tell you today about launching techniques that will inspire confidence is the most important and the most powerful if you're trying to be more sure on launch and feel better about it, it is practicing kiting. I can't overemphasize this enough. Practicing kiting, practicing launching techniques is the single greatest thing that you can do to feel good on launch. Whether it's high wind kiting, low wind kiting, forwards, reverse, cobra launches, kiting from a rosette, killing the glider in strong winds, aborting your launch, any number of these things is the foundation of what you need to launch safely and you cannot practice this enough. I recommend that people, before they start flying, they spend 50 hours kiting, which is a ton of hours, and a lot of people skimp out on that because they get bored and they don't have tricks, they don't have a metric, so I recommend using groundhandlingchallenge.com. Andre Bandara has a great YouTube channel and he kind of goes over all these different tricks and it's a way for you to gauge your progress and also stay entertained by trying new things. You know, learning to flip your glider over and kite it upside down and flip it back over. These are also things that when things happen on launch, sometimes your brake line gets caught and your glider flips over and it's better if you can just flip it right back over using the lines instead of having to recoil your glider. So really practice kiting, practice keeping the glider overhead. These are the things that will allow you to make the decision between inflation and launch that will really give you confidence. You don't feel rushed. You don't feel like you have to try to launch every time the glider comes overhead. That's the most important thing is being an expert kiter. So practice that. I hope this helps you. If you're looking for a new glider, let me know. I have everything from A's to D's. There's something for everybody. And if you're looking for a student package, I still have that available. That's the group either. I have two different student packs still available. That's either the Gradient Bright 5 and the Sup Air Access Harness with the Start Reserve. That's only 3,500 US dollars or the Gradient Golden 5 and the Sup Air Evo Light or Alti Rondo Harness with the Shine Lightweight Reserve, and that's only 4,000 US bucks. So if you're interested, email me at airyintheair at gmail.com. I hope you'll subscribe to this channel. I got more informational content and adventures coming up. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode. Oh, 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 oh,